<laughs> All right, I'm Brian. And I'm Debbie. And we are the Buffalo Bourbon Enthusiasts. Let's wish Brian a happy birthday today. It's a special day. It's the eclipse. Yeah, the eclipse. I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but it's April 8th. Day of the eclipse. It was a little overcast in Buffalo. A lot of overcast. And we are going to open up a <sighs> special bottle today. <laughs> She's letting me. Because it's his birthday. What are we going to open up on? <sighs> oh, boy. This is killing me. Got to open it sooner or later. We don't have a backup. <laughs> We'll just drink it sparingly. I hope we don't like it. <laughs> we got the letter with it, and they told us to give a give them a call for the tour. I'm gonna take them up on it when we go. Not too much. Got to save it. Oh yeah, just a little. Ooh, that smells nice. Does it? And just by pouring, you get less than me. <laughs> just by pouring it. Don't knock it over. Mm -mm. All right. Stick around. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And find out what we think about this bottle. All right. So Deb is letting me open a bottle up. Letting him. Yeah, I uh, am. <laughs> uh, my mom got me an Eclipse mug. Uh, I got this one this earlier in the uh, week. You got a business card. When, when did you give me that? Wednesday. Yeah, but was was it for something something special or it just came in? You wanted to give it to me. Easter. Okay, Easter. Yep. So hand those out at the liquor stores, and uh, I actually. Uh, answered the door when this came in, but it was like um, like beer glasses or something. Oh, this smells really nice. And so I'm like, oh, you got me beer glasses. Move out of the way, George T. I don't know if you can see it now with my hand behind it, but that's uh, got our insignia on it and it says Buffalo Bourbon Enthusiast. She got me uh, 10 of them. Aren't I a good wife? Oh, she's the best. She's the best. I come up with good ideas. I know. What, she hint, get, hint. what she's going to get for her 60th, maybe oh. she'll get, uh, you know, a dozen of these. <laughs> we take, we take, we keep these bad pictures of each other. And I have a picture of her called Peephole Debbie because it looks like she's going through a peephole. I said, I'm going to put the Peephole Debbie picture of you, you on one of not. these. And then she's got one where I look like Lyle Lovett. <laughs> My hair was six inches. I look like Kramer. Yeah, that's what we do to each other. Yeah, true love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. As if you don't know anything about this. <laughs> Holy shit. Cut. Cut. <laughs> well, I, I somehow I want to blame this on Deb. Always. Such a finger pointer. Man, that's a good quarter of an ounce there. He spilled it. I know. He's going to lick it up after the video. I, I pulled a, an abdominal muscle trying to lick it up off the table. <laughs> Did you? Yes. The upper <laughs> abs. <laughs> It hurts. It hurts right now. I do work on abs. I don't know why. Just how much I drink and eat it doesn't matter. Well, if you didn't, just think what it looked like. Yeah, I got I got abs under there somewhere. We all do. All right. So George T. Stag, two thousand twenty three. This is our first George T. Stag. Maybe I should move this further up. You mm -hmm. know, at the rate I'm going. I'm glad it wasn't me. It's oh yeah. It's an un <laughs> I will be looking up that I'm just staring at it right now, the spill. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't on the table called we're soaked in. Oh I know. Undisclosed mash bill. This is actually Buffalo Trace's mash bill number one. It's a low rye mash bill. This is coming in at a hundred and forty three. Hundred and four hundred and hundred and thirty-five proof. 
uh, 15 years, three months. Uh, we got this on January 10th from Herman at Midnight Liquors. The MSRP is 125. If anyone has gotten this at MSRP, more power to you, but I usually see these for $1,200. Yeah, they got it in a lottery or something. Yeah. That's the only way. Uh, I paid 319 out the door, right? So that means 319 cash out the door. Psh, that, that was my cost. All right. So we got some tasting notes on here. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, and we're going to pause this real quick. Read the mess I made. So you can... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like a teenage boy and I was a little excited and it spilled it out a little bit early. Uh, all right, let's smell this. I'm gonna have to get a straw for that later. I'm getting a dusty-ish, kind of. Smells dark to me. Oaky. Little. Get a little ethanol off it. Well, 135. Yeah. All right. I get molasses on the left nostril. I, 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 don't, I don't know. All right, come on. We've been waiting. Okay. Cheers. Yeah, I got half of it on the table. <laughs> oh my God, never going to hear the end of it. Well, for the proof, it doesn't drink hot, but the finish is long. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say the hug isn't massive, but it's. It's there. It's long lasting. Ooh, yeah. You know, interesting. Uh oh. Go ahead. You know, I, I don't like to look at the notes, but when you say the molasses, I taste molasses too now. I don't know if it's mind over matter or what. Sometimes I can't identify what it is. I know what it is that I've had it, familiar with it, until somebody says something. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's it. What do you think, birthday boy? Definitely got some oakiness here. Mm -hmm. Chewy here. And I thought it would be um, thicker on the mouthfeel, actually. I'm not saying it's thin. I just thought it would be thicker. Let me go in again. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could tell it's a high-end bourbon with the finish and it's long-lasting. The feel is complex. But you know, hmm. you know, just just the the taste though, it it is it is thick. It is coating my mouth nice. I'm trying to look at the, I'm trying to cheat here, right? I mean, you do get a little bit of rye spice at the end, even though this is a low rye. The legs, you can see here, are decent, and I'm drinking it out of the appropriate glass. I'd like to try somebody else's to see if it tastes like ours. If it's that much alike or not, you know? Hmm. Black strap molasses. I get that. Raisins, graham cracker, baking oh. spices. I get baking spices. I'm getting graham crackers. Yeah, I don't know about that. Baking spices to me get confusing with rye spice. Like baking, when you someone says baking spice to me, mm. I think of um, allspice, clove, you know? And I'm not getting that. I'm just getting a lot of heavier spice yeah definitely um a lot of oak there in the beginning i was getting some brown sugar or some sweetness right mm -hmm. but then once it hits the mid palate i'm getting the uh the oak and um the leather so i guess i would say i i like it but i i would like more sweetness mm -hmm. up front mm -hmm. just a little bit and but, with 15 years i think we would have had more more what? Sweetness. No, I think we would have had more oak. So I'm glad it's not oh, like super too. oaky. Like it's not drying me out, right? So this is a nice amount of oak. 15 years we always say is our max. Yeah. So let's see here. I, I mm, <laughs> This is going to be tough. You hate to do it. Three, six. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to give it a four. Oh, four. Four. Do you have any more in there? Nope. 
I gotta drink it off the table. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pour a little more. Just a little bit. You know, it is the neck pour. I'd like to give it another try a little later and see if it changed my mind. But I, I do get a lot of leather off it, that oakiness, and it's not usually my, my cup of tea. Okay. So, I would rate it higher if I was getting more um, sweetness. sweetness off the front, right? Uh, I like the finish. I like everything off of the finish. Um I don't know, maybe because the finish is so good. What's so good? I'm getting too much that, leather That, that it's lo long lasting and long. I am, I, and um, I, I don't know. No, you like it, that's good. You like it, dear. <sighs> you wanted this for but, so but long. But the front of the palette, I want something different. So, mm, I don't know if I want to give it a 4-2 or not. Like it has potential to be a 4-2. Um, but I'm just going to give it a four, right? Maybe we are just creating crap way too difficult. You know, I think that's maybe mm. what it is. Well, we don't give too many fours. Yeah. So, yeah. But I mean, what would a five be? I'm mm. glad we got it open. Mm -hmm. I'm, I wanted more. Like this is... The hype. Yeah. This is, um, if you like aged whiskeys... This is really good. Uh, it's not over oaky, but you're getting a, a lot of oak out of it. When I, it's not drying you out. Dried me out. It's drying you out. A little bit, yeah. You get a little bit of leather. Like none of those are like what we really, 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 really look for. But I do enjoy it in this one. So that's our review. It didn't make me wet myself, so we're Aww. just we're just gonna happy birthday. we're just gonna go with a, a four zero, <laughs> right? And she's got a three six. Cheers. Cheers. Remember, bourbon is for sharing. <laughs> we're and not sharing this. So. And even though we got it, gave this a four zero, we're not sharing it with yo. <laughs> Smash that like button, guys. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Wish him a happy birthday. Wish me a happy birthday. Say happy birthday in the comments below. <laughs> and uh, share this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy the video. Smash the like button. Leave a comment below. <laughs> and subscribe to our station.